Well, I really can't say that there is one most common issue, but I can tell you that it all boils down to something that's very much in common. Most people have confused remembering with thinking. So they come in and they tell me that I always have to be afraid in a situation or I can never get myself to do this. And it has to do with their thinking that, you know, in the past I've never been able to do something, so therefore I won't be able to do it. So whenever they think about it, they have big pictures in their mind and voices and feelings moving in the same direction. When what thinking really is, is reversing all of those processes, putting up new big shiny pictures in their head and talking to themselves in a better voice and spinning their feelings in the opposite direction. Now, depending upon what it is, there's a whole variety of techniques that you get people to do to think instead of remember. Uh, because remembering produces a state called hesitation, and thinking leads to action. And, uh, you know, people come in, they go, it's just that I think this. And they're not really thinking, they're remembering. And when you stop remembering what you can't do and start thinking you can do things, uh, people always surprise themselves delightfully.